Hi, it's Kevin from Exploration Canine. And this morning we're gonna talk about how I have my Forerunner set up specifically for my dogs, for overlanding and going up to the woods, different than you may have it set up. The problem I had when I was originally chose the Forerunner over my old Ford Raptor and the van that I had for hauling the dogs around, I want a vehicle specifically that could move around easier in the woods and haul all the dogs. The problem is I need my dogs all to be in kennels. I'm super safety conscious and it's a big deal to me. So I had to have an SUV that I could get three kennels in. Well, there was quite a, I went through quite a process trying to figure out what kennels to work with. I have a whole assortment of kennels and I'm gonna do a video at some point on that talking about how the differences in kennels and why you would buy one kennel over the other. But I settled on Roughland and the Roughland kennels work really good in the Forerunner. And today we're gonna go over that and I'm gonna talk about the kennels, how I have them set up and how I have the Forerunner set up specifically um, for my dogs and my situation. So first of all, these are three Roughland kennels, the extra larges. I have the dual door set up. I switched the far right kennel around so you could see it with the fan on. All three of the kennels have fans on them. And when I show the footage of the kennels actually in the Forerunner, I'll talk a little bit more about how I have it set up. All right, so the doors, <clears throat> as you guys know, probably with all kennels, when the doors are open, a lot of times they don't stay open. Well, what I've done here is outfitted them with bungees. So when the door opens, they swing open and they stay open, which works really good. Um, my dogs are trained to not jump out of the kennels unless they're told, but I wanna hold the kennel door open most of the time. The other thing I did, it's always difficult finding a way to hang any type of water in there. So what I did was put some tape around here tape it up so it wouldn't wear through the hole and these all sit right like that and they work really good and I have two uh, two German Shepherds that are between 70 and 80 some pounds and one Belgian Malinois that go in these extra large kennels now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the forerunner specifically and how and what I've done to the forerunner let's go to the back here <clears throat> One of the things I did, I have a, um, I got an automatic door opener, an aftermarket automatic door opener, which I really like, comes in really handy. So I have Goose Gear in the back here. Goose Gear is a company who makes all kinds of stuff for the Forerunner. This is one of the platforms they make. It's their sleeping platform. It's the, actually the dual sleeping platform. As you can see up here, you can get it in two different sections. So you could just get one section and leave a seat in another section if you chose to. This is my dedicated dog hauling rig. I don't need anybody else to be in here. Rarely is my wife even in here. It's usually just me and the dogs um, when we're going to the mountains. So this is what I chose to do. This is all marine grade plywood. It's all specifically engineered for the Forerunner. It fits in here really good. You do have a little bit of storage space underneath here not much these are lockable storage here and here i don't use those because you'll see later when i show you how the kennels are in here the kennels actually fit over this so to me this is um, somewhat irrelevant it does leave a little bit of space up front where i have the seat configured um, for me to sit in here so i'm able to store I have some binoculars and some other equipment in here um, some of my recovery gear is here a bag from my rash raptor that i kept goes in there with some jumper cables and a bunch of other stuff and my auxiliary battery i have a dual battery setup in here is under the other side and i'm going to take you around now and show you that So the, um, the second dual battery is mounted right underneath here. It's real clean, sits there. I also have a little bit more space 
to put some in there. I put my battery patch kit, excuse me, my tire patch kit um, sits right underneath there too. So there's just a little bit enough space to do that. Also back here, I have the Rago attic system that extends up here that I can stack up. I have two first aid kits, a human and a dog first aid kit up there. I have some airlines for my um, ARB air compressor that's up front. The, the airlines are up here. I also have these two covers for the windows that are made by Rago too that allow me to hang leashes. And I, I specifically have leashes in here for specific reasons. So I have a real short leash in case I need to ever get out with the dogs and keep them close to me. The, the orange and the blue lines are longer lines, eight to 10 foot lines. I used to do a lot of um, nose work. I'm an AKC nose work judge, so I used to do a lot of scent work. So those are the dogs that I would, those are the lines I would use um, for scent work. I have a leather six foot leash. My dog's collars, the collars that they wear when they're out. Also, these are three four foot lines. Now when I'm hiking, uh, I go in areas that are tend to be very uninhabited up way up in areas where the dogs are off leash, we're way up away from everybody, but I always carry leashes with me from a safety standpoint in case somebody needs to, in case I need to leash the dogs up or hold on to the dogs. Granted my dogs, if I tell them to down, they lay down, but there may be times when I need to control the dogs. Um, in a stressful situation, I need to keep them close to me. So I always carry leashes wrapped around me. Those four foot, both, all three of those are four foot leashes that I carry draped across my shoulder when I'm out, just from a security standpoint. Also with that is a collapsible water bowl that you see up there, and then two harnesses. I don't walk my dogs. Typically, if I'm out for a walk um, on collars, I walk them on harnesses. Um, it puts less stress on them, obviously, but my, my dogs can, can walk that way. Obviously, I understand that other people's dogs are not able to do that. Um, so here is my whole setup, and I'm going to stop, and I'm going to move on here now, and we're going to talk, and you're going to be able to see what the kennels look like actually inside and how everything's set up when they're in here.